Okay, back again. It's time to, once again, stare into the factory. And today, we got a problem, right? We set up chemical science, but chemical science is not going. Because we don't have any organic acid anhydride. And if we jog up here, we see we have no phosphoric acid. So, that is probably the first thing we have to take care of. And then, more sulfuric more nexolit. Oh, is this a problem? No plastic. That looks like a problem to me. That guy's not a problem. This worries me in general, but we're just going to leave that alone for right now. Uh, worry is not a lo- what? Okay, I was just about to say that worry is not a level of emergency consonant with science being stopped. However, uh, no gasoline is. Why is the gasoline stopped today? No titanium purple. Didn't we solve this problem? Yes, we did. However, we solved this problem before we added a whole lot of titanium consumption on the... Uh, this side of things. This thing's just eating titanium, isn't it? Meaning there isn't enough titanium to maintain titanium purple production, which is to their south. Which is another amazing thing. I was very happy to wake up and look at this. Oh, and you're not even half full. Um, so yeah... This is a pretty big problem, right? And the source is because this is no, this is no, this is probably yes right here. This is taking more. And this is all just dunked directly in the science. Oh, we're going to have to do next level titanium production. That's, okay, put it on the list. That's happening real soon here. Um... Maybe things aren't as rosy as I thought they were. There's a lot of struggle points here. All right, so you make phosphor in quantity for a second. And then you over here make phosphor in quantity probably very low. You're kind of a waste of processing. What's this coal dust doing on this line? Seriously, what's it doing there? I need more uh, power poles before I deal with... Well, look. Look around. Look around. Yeah, just go get more power poles. And then we're going to have to, like, triple, maybe quintuple uh, production of uh, phosphor ick right there. And that will maybe shake anhydride loose, but this still leaves this problem. Hmm many problems be so what was that those were uh destructive distillation columns right this just chug it along happily so that was again not solving problems but it did make the world better nexolit is also a problem i think we have to address that rather soon nexolit and titanium both problems I wonder if titanium is suffering because of lack of um, uh, acetylene into the miners. Anyway, we need to... How many... We just have lost four us for days. So let's get two more of these. Destructive. Oh, come on, man. Oh, we're out of small parts. Oh. The world just gets more and more tragic by the minute, doesn't it? Well... Well, at least I have a titanium uh, processing tech I can take. I don't want to. I want to leap directly to uh, um, artillery. However, that might not be wise. I mean, that's never stopped me before, right? Rucked? Give me another one. Okay. 
Maybe we'll have to make more. My inventory is a disaster right now. Why do I have ceramic? Why do I have melamine? Why do I have shells? Why do I have moss? Uh, I'm going to have to take a moment and organize that. Yeah? Yeah. So delivery happened. I'm going to have to look into that. Processing is beyond the amount that gets delivered, so... <sighs> At least it looks like I set this up fairly correctly, right? We're not going to call it completely correct. We're going to call it fairly correct. So... This comes in here. And you need... Why is there still more coal dust on here? Why do I have coal dust in my inventory? How is this permitted to happen? Okay, plug you in. Luckily I did this fairly competently. Not completely competently, it is one of my builds after all. But it doesn't look like it's going to be utter hell expanding this. And now you are just not venting either of the major products. Uh, for which I'm very proud of you. You go to here, and this has to be clipped. Good. Get out of there, power pole. And now all that's left is getting rid of the Foth Bean, which is vented on top into this. Yeah. All right, so that doesn't happen. Instead, oh, this is gonna be a pain, isn't it? Like I said, it's one of my builds. Okay, that should get everything out, right? Again, we need to do something with hydrochloric acid. It's our slow death curse, this game. Are you running? Are you running? They're both running. There's like a, a draw on phosphine gas. Goes into the barreling machine right here. Then it overflows. Oh, it has to overflow in. Because it gets pressure to the uh, barreling machine first, I guess. And that makes a certain kind of sense. Alright, we do it again now. No. We do it like this. Legal, so we can share that out. And we can come here. This is legal, right? Then that's taken care of. You just have to plug in right here. We're actively barreling this stuff, which is probably an issue all on its own. Okay, it is. No, wait, we can't do this because of this one little nub right here. See? It has to get out, but it can't get out. Once again, a building designed by Satan. Yes, Satan. Yes, you do rule this cursed earth. Yes, Satan. <sighs> I will perform the sacrifice, Satan. Yes, I will. Yes, you truly are almighty. Thank you, Satan. Yes, yes, all hail. Alright, so right there. Like that, it has to be like that. But we can do this. So we can occasionally steal a little bit from Satan. He notices. Don't think he doesn't notice. Um, no? Yeah. Right there now. Which leaves the phosphine gas. Right there. Now you need wood in for some reason that is a mystery for me. This is probably going to put pressure on this wood line, which was already kind of struggling, right? And this is. This is a disaster right here. There's no other way to put it. Um. And we're just going to pretend like we don't see it, right?
This is how we deal with problems. We pretend they don't exist. So yeah, this is going to drink down wood. And I might not have enough wood. I might have to caravan in wood for this in a second here. So you're running, maybe? No, you need primary input, which is purple drop. Not pink drop. We don't like pink drop. Purple drop is where it's at. Uh, probably just two, right? Aliens are out there just wrecking my life. Yeah, that's two is where we're at. Yeah, so this is eating two wood a second for each. So this is actually a fairly substantial um, wood consumer. I have cons I'm very concerned about this belt right now. But not concerned enough to do anything about it at the moment. So how are we doing on phosphoric? Right here. And so you're coming over, you're coming up, you're coming into this tank, you're coming over. There is a drain here as this dinosaur needs to uh, get his barrels. And then after that, it underflows this way and then out into the world. What we really need is this recipe to start going again, but this will only run like every eight seconds or so. So this will produce something like, I don't know, two a second. I mean, it's running now, but that's, no, I suppose it's only 50 phosphine gas. No, once every eight seconds is about right with occasional overflow. Very occasional. Alright, so that's better. And this will one day end. And then it will flood out into the world and we will start making chem science again, up until the point where this runs dry. So... I think I probably need more. <laughs> but... I don't... Uh, uh, I don't have the space for it. Well, here's the other end. Are you keeping up all right? You doing okay? I mean, you look fine. Isn't thin gas a problem I have to deal with? I seem to remember that. Stone is a problem I have to deal with. This seems like it is fully supporting this. Well, maybe it's running dry. Let's pretend we're running dry here. And let's make it a little better, right? So you are doing exactly this, only like so. Right there. <clears throat> Excuse me. And right there there. Put that in, and let's see if this... Uh, we need to go back still farther. I really hope not. Um, right there. This assumed disaster, right? You need more pure sand. Why? Why aren't you picking up the pure sand? Why are... Oh, I'm out. Those are ghosts. I am... I'm chasing ghosts, my friends. There we go. Okay, so this... is probably a very major consumer of pure sand, which shouldn't be a problem for me at this point. But once again, we are also consuming more sand. Ah! Okay, we are... Uh, definitely overdoing it here. I did not jaw crush. Did not plan this area out very well. Well, let's take a little bit of time here. Let us properly put this problem in the ground, and then we can check that box, and we won't have to think about it for a while. We'll have to think. This is 
borax, which is stin gas. All right, that's got to leap up the priority. So we're dealing with stin gas after this. In fact, it's a real open question, jaw crush, whether I should have uh, um, done phosphoric acid first, because lack of syn gas means lack of all sorts of materials, and that's utterly unacceptable. So, firefight episode, go! Alright, so you aren't producing enough. right here and then you have to get rid of your rock and get rid of your product and get rid of your product this way I suppose get rid of you so we do this and it is of course ultra ugly but, this area was not meant for this. Ultra ugly. Alright, fine. It works. It will work. Live, I say. Live and produce. Okay. So this is now working. How is syngas pressure so high here, yet we're not seeing any boric acid? Could it be that... I did fix it, the, the, that one stone problem very late last episode, so perhaps um, it's related somehow. Do we need still more? Do you need more? Is this not enough to, to go 24-7? Step and watch, sit and watch. It certainly looks like it's going very close to 24-7. It's not backing up. Well, let's do some math. Um, this puts out one powdered rock every... It puts out every two seconds. And this eats one powdered rock every second? No. No, it is one second, one second. I was incorrect there. It eats uh, two of the um, the other rocks, the raw ore. All right, so you're just chugging along as hard as you can. Hydrofluoric acid's under control for the time being. That's probably necessary somewhere. I don't want to think about it. And this is all just cranking, right? All right, it's time put this problem out of my head. Let's just take a look. Uh, boss for not us, Dick. All right, so we had been cruising along at 3.30. Lately, we are doing triple that, We've got 1K. So yes, we have tripled production. Let us hope it's enough. Uh, next page, it is time to look at uh, syngas. Syngas is mainly, you follow the uh, the rock line. That has been where it was jammed, right? Right now it's free flowing because we're not processing ore. So there's definitely a uh, push-pull kind of thing going on here. All right, so you should be making syngas for me, like a lot. You... Oh, it's bitumen. That was our problem. Alright, okay. We will address this by increasing bitumen production. And that's done by just feeding more ore in, I believe. There, follow this line. So, yes. Bitumen production is insufficient. How much naphtha do we have? Plenty. That's overflowing. So we need a lot more bitumen, and a good first step to this is just having it run faster, or more often. And to do that, can I get rid of your slurry? Oh, you need more powder. All right. 
Yeah, you guys just get built. So, all this comes down. We have to get rid of all of our trash. Um, is there anything I can ditch around here? Um, just dizzy and look at it. All right, so what I need to do is find the oil sands, which is along the false belt over here. The the false bus, which we mine from right here, in an area which is oh, it ran out because I forced it onto a very uncomfortable small patch. All right. So this should be an easy double, right? And you go right here, I guess. How much mineable resources do we have? Not many. This is not what I would refer to as a long-term solution. What are you, an oil sand extractor? Uh, and you need Nexlet and more steel. And I think I'll be able to put in only one, because I can't leave that. So I can put in one more. Yeah, I can't do this. I can do this. So we need one oil sand extractor. Alright, let's go do it. See if we can ditch this melamine while we're doing We can't go that way? Oh my god. Why is there a walkway? Melamine, please take more. Melamine goes down to here. Please take this away from me. Don't I have limestone in my inventory? I do. Would you like some limestone? I don't care. Take it anyway. Hold us. Uh, we're gonna need better gasoline production or shift to different fuel. Um, because there's another fuel, right? Food index. Where are you? Fuel value. Diesel. Or kerosene. Gasoline's good. These two are better. Maybe there's a way of making them. Kerosene. How do we make kerosene? Heavy oil into a little. So, this is much better than what I'm doing right now. Huh. Where is heavy oil processing? Alright. Let's... Let's just stick a pin in that one. And the other one is gasoline. The other one is diesel. Diesel is a problem. Um, no. I mean, that's alright. But I don't think I have sufficient manure bacteria because I don't have sufficient manure. This is what I'm doing right now, and it's real good. It kind of rivals the kerosene recipe, doesn't it? Um, I'll have to think about that. The other one is D... Diesel. Diesel. That takes that. 500 aromatics isn't nothing. But I have naps up. Maybe not enough. It makes a ton. Maybe this is what I'm supposed to be doing. I'm like, this is even pretty good if I have the aromatics. And that's... Shouldn't be a huge problem at this point, right? Hmm... That's mainly for oxygen. So the best way to get aromatics is definitely growing them. Either with lignin right here, or uh, this right here. And this is probably best. This produces 20 a second. Whereas... 
is somewhere else. But anyway, we got to think about that, but just not right now. We're getting distracted. Um, need oil sand. Uh, grab a block and next slit, it says. Sure. Make the spider thing. The neck flip back. Done. Alright, so. Getting still a problem. Put it in place, please. And then, oh, it takes a long time. Oh, come on, guys. Come on. You can get to, you can do it. I believe in you. Okay. So you are collectively probably not doing enough. And probably should not have run oil or the oil sands like I did. Seems like it may have been a poor decision long term. But, okay, we can recover. We can, it's still good. It's still good. Uh, so over here, we will soon have triple in, which should have this running more. Um, nitrogen, you should be underflowing in. Because you're a primary producer. Uh, underflow, please. But this is not a problem at the moment, because the bitumen is going somewhere else. It's all getting drained into thin gas, right? So this isn't even online. So we're probably just eating up um, uh, filters, trying to process nitrogen that way, you know? So, 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 that's doing fine. That is chronically ahead. This is not backing up. This just needs more input, which is not yet on the way. All right, check back with this, right? Uh, shift gears. Go look at phosphoric again, then go look at organic acid and hydride again. We spent a little time debugging the syngas problem. Perhaps it will be better now. We should probably work on getting another syngas producer online. I don't know if this is good or bad. No, this is good. All right, so it looks like the cycle of borax has tilted back towards more borax, which is a good temporary victory, at least. This is all going. Are you going? Please say you're going. You are not going because you don't have enough phosphoric acid because we're not enough pure sand. All right, controversial decision coming up. This right now is split between this and glass. Uh, now you're just going to agree this. And glass is going to have to make do with its direct shipment. This is going to cause problems soon. <laughs> this is just, this will cause problems soon. But this is our problem for right now. So, all right, so this is good. This is not good, but is getting slowly better. Um, we will check back again, just not now. All right, so that problem is not in the dirt. Um, Syngat is too early to check on bitumen again because we don't know if uh, the wave has to get closer, you know? It needs more time to digest the additional production that I allotted to it. Oh, I can get rid of this stuff right here. Here, take it for you. Yeah, okay. A little more breathing room. I gotta establish a vent for this when it backs up. Um, because we have another dinosaur waiting to vent right there. We're gonna have to do something about that. Anyway, titanium. Titanium production is an issue. And that we don't have enough of it. And how is our grand system going? The entire belt is being consumed. And I think that's a problem because we don't really have the ability to get any more, right? A little bit. But we're all spinning. Like there's a little more that can be squeezed out of here. But what I need is 
Oh, we're real low on acetylene. Uh, well. Problems into problems, eh? But, key thing is that this belt is being completely consumed. It is producing all this titanium. However, we are not producing enough. What we need is titanium processing 2. Ah, which will greatly improve our lives, eh? <laughs> greatly improve our lives. In the end, it's 100 molten titanium for 20 plates. Well, how do you concentrate high-grade titanium? So it looks like there's going to be a low path and a high path here. All right, don't look at this. Just try to try to be happy. Gasoline is going to stop. How are we doing on aromatics? That's a question, right? Let's go take a look at the mushrooms, centrifuges. Now, we should be producing a ton of mushrooms because we put in mushroom 2. Sulfur is, uric is backed up because half the factory is stopped. Um, we make aromatics over on the false boss. Over here. Right down here, question mark? Yes. All right, so you're both running. Aromatics are pressurized. Hmm. Low distillates into diesel. Right now I'm turning low distillates into coke and then burning them. Turning it into diesel seems like a really good idea. Hmm. That will relieve pressure on titanium. That's the that's that's what I'm looking for right here. We have too much. Uh, there's making gasoline is efficient, but it really eats up uh, titanium chloride or titanium tetra tetra something titanium purple. You guys know what I'm talking about, right? Well, not really talking. It's more like just ranting. Right here. This is what I was looking for. Wandering around my factory looking for exactly this. Alright, so we are backed up here. So these guys are now running to their, their greatest extent. We are backed up on bitumen. We are backed up here, backed up here. Alright, bitumen pressure has reached max. You know, with flashing gold stars. Max! You should feel good about what you did right here. Like triumphant music plays, so on and so forth. However, I am not so pleased, because we have to do this now. This is turning into dirty syngas at a rate of 25 a second. This is eating dirty syngas at a rate of... It's a really weird rate. Um, 10, 12, so this, is, this should have them both going 24-7. Should, but it doesn't look like it. Maybe it is. Maybe it's just I'm, I've caught the leading edge right here. Maybe not. Do I need another one of you? So you need 400. So it takes 16 seconds for this to do. And so no, no, there isn't. I can increase this still more. How's the gas doing? Right now it's fine. Do I trust it? New. No. What are you? Multi-purpose cracker. Do I have one? Cracker? No. Go get circuit boards and lead. Guess I'm doing it, eh? Uh, the borax situation was mostly tied to stone, I think. But there's no need to take any chances. We saw it was a problem, so try to just stomp on its head, right? Um, there's... Solving a problem delicately and precisely, and then there is teaching that problem a lesson and making sure it never ever thinks about doing anything like that ever again. And that's really where we are at right now. Here, have some moss. For you, some moss. I heard you like moss. 
Um, what's the other thing I need? Block of lead. Alright, give me a cracker. Thank you. And we will go install that. And that will run both of the dirty sin gas makers 24-7. And then that will maybe run the, uh, uh this thing. The, the heat exchanger. The thing, you know? The thing. We need nothing. We need absolutely nothing. Right there, I say. Can you make dirty thin gas, please? So you need things in. First of all, you need bitumen. And you need steam. Steam's easy. I do you first. Right there. Steam in. Ultra happy. Oxygen. Oxygen comes from where? Oxygen comes from the oxygen rail. Glad that exists. Super duper thrilled. Oh, we're going to get all sorts of junk in our inventory again. Oh, be quick. We'll only get ash. Worried a little bit about the lack of speed lanes I'm seeing on this belt. Uh, it implies a void somewhere. Now we need bitumen in, I guess. That's, that's, that's. That's right here. There. Bitumen production increase. Now dirty syngas goes out. You can just leap over this, right? This is intelligent advanced factory design right here. So you're running, we have just double dirty sin gas production. And these guys will bulk go 24-7 now. Might even need another one. Uh, and then it turns into hot sin gas right here. How much comes out? Maybe. Maybe. Here, I've got a job for you. It's called burn this for me. Now I just kind of played myself, didn't I? Because now I have to stand here and wait. I would have thought there would be more heat being absorbed, but apparently not. Alright, come on, my dude. You're only burning coal dust. It's supposed to just go up in a poof. A poof, I tell you. So how's sin gas pressure? Bad! So, maybe we're not done here. I'm gonna pick this ash. How are you not finished by now? There you go. Alright, so now... I'm beginning to believe we are not finished here. And that we need another one of you, which is a quenching tower. We are getting into just... Completely, oh good, I was about to ask you to move. Completely ragged builds right here. With things just being thrown into place out of just necessity. Well, not even necessity. It's, uh, we tell ourselves that we must do these things. But in reality, uh, we do this to ourselves of our own volition. Oops. Oh, and again, Satan rules the earth. Alright. No, I can't do it like that. And you see, if I do it like this, it's it's vice versa. Oh. Why, Satan? Why? You know the name of the devil. So, like, there is our best shot, right? So we can do this. Really? What? What do you mean? Oh, wait. That's faded. There's a faded one and a bright one. Alright, so now we have to... Uh, do this pattern, then, because doing it... 
the spatially convenient way is just not gonna happen, huh? And then we have a problem still because we're using lines right here. This guy comes around. But how do I get this in? The answer is, of course, you, you don't. You don't, you moron. You, you just don't. Why would you ever think that? Did you not... Did, like, why? What class did you fail made you think that was even possible? Okay. Uh, answer is quite a few when you really do the math. Pull the records interrogate the witnesses, um, but we're not going to do that today. Focus on happy thoughts. Focus on the future. Put down this thing. All right, so you're, you need filtration media. I can help you. There is a solution for this problem. Remember when filtration media used to be valuable? Not just something I throw in. Just here, take as much as you need. Just do it. Just do it. All right, so... On this stuff, this takes 24 seconds, and we've got 12, 1,224 seconds. That means something. So you, you divide both by four, we're making like, uh, I can't do that. All right, 1,200 divided by 24. A smarter person could do that. It's 50. That was going to be one of my guesses, but I also thought I was probably going to be wrong. So 50 purified every second, which means this is now the bottleneck. Mr. Wet Scrubber. And you have a lot of downtime. So, Wet Scrubber. Ah, uh, Steel. Wants me Steel. So, let's run over here and let's grab a brick of steel. Let's add in an additional Wet Scrubber. And then we should be well and truly done with this part of our project. We are still in a screaming panic, don't get me wrong. Uh, wet scrubber. But, with the failing thin gas pressure being restored, and gasoline pressure restored for a moment, we have to deal with that soon. Perhaps even next. Uh, I am worried there. All right, so here we have things happening, right? Surely this doesn't have to exist. Like this does not. Oh wait, this is. Uh, yeah, I see what this is. This is thin gas in. Uh, because this makes thin gas too. This is uh, blue gas in this thin gas for activated carbon, and that's actually quite nice. But. Our current problem here is we have to put a wet scrubber in. And so what we'll do is we will reroute this. Don't know why that's there. You are rerouted like so. You are still correct. You are just not in the way. So, good. And then this, obviously, will be somewhat different. If we can move this merry boy. Can you get your steam somewhere else? I bet the answer is probably no. I probably would have done things differently if the answer was yes. Uh, where is my wet scrubber? What I just made. You. Is this possible? So like this, and that's the easy part. And then like that. This is an easy part. Yeah, this is probably possible. I can make this work. Wait, what? Oh. Um like this. Yeah. Yeah, we can do this. So you come in like this, only we'll do it a little fancier now. There. Okay. 
So now you are completely full of uh, hot sin gas. So you are producing 150 sin gas every second. 125, excuse me. And we, we shouldn't be getting pressurized here, right? Because this is producing 25, this is producing 25. And this should be eating... No. Why was it backing up before? Well, no, it's because the system isn't 100%. These won't be going 24-7. But this will be now. Alright, so... Um, only question is, blue gas, are you still going correctly? Yeah. Alright, it's doing just fine. Alright, we are going... Oh, Syngas is out? How? How? With us making so much Syngas, how are you out? Are you guys going? You're not. What are you missing? Coal gas. Alright, okay. Breathe, breathe, breathe. Problems can't see you if you just keep moving. Problems, problems, sight is based on like anti-movement. Problems can only get you if you stand still. Uh, so we're making lots of coal gas, but it's not overflowing. And our problem here is we are having a failure to vent coke. I don't know how to address this problem, except to flood this more on buffers. Do you need more hands? Is there any way I can help? So this coke should be consumed first. And we should be just munching hard. Oh. Oh. Well, that's not good. Wait a second. Is that really the only use for this coke to come impact into the old uh, lime line right here? And then this, this should leave the system. Well, it does. There's a coke vent right here. This is how it's getting out? We're just wasting coke on CO2? We're just ash and coal gas? This is what we're doing? Is this... Was this the plan? I... What is happening? I don't understand. Big confuse. Very strange. Like, this is just... Okay. Let us just take a deep breath and admit to ourselves that what we're seeing right here is stupid. Um, this is... This will never go again, because uh, its duties have been relo relocated elsewhere. But don't I have a waste coke line? Like, there. I thought that coke was getting onto that line, but no. Uh-uh, no. Uh-uh, no, no, no. Alright, so. Let, let us try to join the problems together. Let's try to fix this little part of our world. We are going to have to get a whole bunch of limestone in our inventory. Just accept it. Accept it. It is a critical step on the path to healing. And oh my god, we got some trauma. Alright, so here. How do we deal with our trauma? put it in a box and we pretend it's not there you know it is a time tested technique it works it is consistent uh, there are no problems associated with this behavior none it is a doctor recommended scientific science-based technique with how to deal with all those bad thoughts and the things that keep happening no matter how hard you struggle. Um, so pick all this up. There's still more, because there's always more. And put the limestone in the box. Put all the dirty things in the box where 
They don't have to be thought about anymore. Okay, over here, over here. Okay, now we're we're getting close, we're getting close to boiling over right here. Look at all this. Look at getting real close to just not being able to keep up. Uh, not sure what happens after that point, but it's gonna be it's gonna be interesting, right? Okay, let's go this way. Um, we need to smuggle this belt all the way through this madness. And we have to sneak it over here and pull it up. Our goal, this is waste coke. I thought, oh, oh, something good happened. Uh, waste coke, which I thought I had been, I dealt with a long long time ago nice nice here let's just take a moment to breathe we have just invested ourselves with a large amount of negativity it is important to take a moment just breathe and purge and try to remove all that negativity let's just take a nice calm walk towards the center of our base but over here Breathing in and out, the factory isn't collapsing around us. We are not plagued by problems that we have absolutely no hope of addressing, no matter how hard we struggle and how much time we put in. Uh, we need more grenades. Grenades are good because we have a grenade maker right here. Isn't that pleasant? Isn't it better? Um, now we need a couple pipes because we always need pipes. Get rid of this because we frequently pick those up. Just manage our inventory, you know? Make sure everything is nice and tidy. Go get more hands, go get more belts. We're gonna build. We're gonna build factory. This building factory makes us happy. Building factory is the... Well, no. It's not the only reason we get up. It's certainly one of the major ones. Alright, so. Um, let's just look. Let's just watch. Let's have a little moment as we go and we research the tank. Start research. And it's just, oh, it doesn't all light up. It has to rejigger everything. But this is our first chemical science tech. Oh, we're really rearranging everything, aren't we? Here. I will help. Uh, probably a lot of, um, military science had to be moved. High science one is now a problem. Panic, 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 load as fast as you can. It takes 120 seconds to go, so it's not like it's going to, um, uh, I suppose it is kind of smooth because it uses up these things at a much faster rate. I don't know. We're not going to think about it. The point is, we are researching tanks. And now, I need to go look at a Syngas line. No, 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 no. Roll it back from the start. Let's go take a look at the ancient coal gas generation port that I've put together, which is way up here. Back in places I've repurposed again and again and again and again. We are finally venting the coke appropriately. And the raw coal is flowing in. Why are you, are you having trouble? Hmm. Looks like it's producing... I mean, it's just trying to get through a backlog. I don't know. Point is, we are making coal gas in greater amount than we had done before. So, let's roll this forward, like we like to do. Let's go take a look at oh, this is backing up this is primary this is not this is this is also primary production we're going to end up with a lot of coke in a second here um syngas is what i'm looking at syngas is not found here where is my my ranks of gasifiers south part of south I built this factory. I know what's going on here. 
So my ranks of gathifiers are now going. They're running the good recipe. They're making sim gas. This takes, this is, this is like 300 and some sim gas a second. And over here, you are not running because we were through the backup. So this will just keep churning. Oh, you don't have a way to vent. But I probably should have thought about this. This is why we check. Because at heart, uh, we need so much help. <laughs> we so need help. Alright, so you're now venting soot faster than it's being made. Good. Good. Now you're going... You need to vent soot too. Um... Okay, all right. Maybe I should have thought, thought this through. Are you stuck? You are stuck. So we are making more soot now, but we have soot processing capacity to spare. All right, so this will only kick in in a bit, so we're not done looking at this yet. Here, we can probably take a look, though. Sin gas. Sin gas production hovering around 28k and now we're hovering around 33 but it's going to ra uh, rise up a bit so we should give that a few minutes all right switch gears again we just researched water invertebrates something that we had delayed tank for we did this because we need to vent shells to keep the factory running we need this recipe right here and this is going to cause us another problem, and that problem is going to be called coke. Because this is going to completely obliterate one giant consumer of coke. This is a good thing. We should not be complaining about this. However, it is going to lead to an imbalance which will have to be addressed. <sighs> Every time I see that I die a little bit in tide. Why are you having such trouble with this? All right, so do we in fact have a full belt of lime right here? We have to look at the consequences of our actions. Probably would be if I used faster hands. Maybe it's not quite a full belt. Oh, well, you need one more. You're the insurance agent right here. No one on this side is backed up. Mm. So it's mostly a completely full belt of lime. That is revolutionary. So this lime maker is just going to shut off. And these lime makers will shut off. And all that coke which is being consumed by those guys will shut off. But it will when I complete the belt which for some reason I didn't do. Uh, we need to prioritize this stuff. Ooh, did not think of that. Um, you have to do like that. In fact, you're going to get a buddy. And you got to come over here. And like this. some reason. What am I short on? Just iron. The world is falling apart. Uh, I need to take input priority from the other side. And we need another to balance. Where so this is always, always, always used with priority. Alright, is good? Is a thing? And so we're still not producing enough acetylene. Um, but we could probably produce this elsewhere, right? Because we're no longer lime limited. It's all a matter of just how many of these I can run. Maybe I'll have a next-gen high-pressure furnace soon, right? 
high pressure furnace Mach 2. I've got all of this stuff, right? Yeah, I've got all of it. I just need the tech. And that's not hard, right? Uh, high press? No. 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 Um, where is it? Furnace. No, it is here. It is here. So this is... Mach 2 is a ways away. I mean, yeah, it's a long way away. Oof. I get the feeling like this should be closer given that ingredients are uh, available right now. Why is the building blueprint so far away? I don't understand. Um, okay, this is going to have a problem in that this limestone is going to back up. We, have, we are giving ourselves a problem, which we're just going to talk about right now. Um, the limestone is going to back up, which means that this, the hydrogen uh, sodium hydroxide, is going to stop working because it can't vent um, uh, limestone because it was consumed to make lime and that consumer will no longer be there. All right, now that we have spoken that joy into the world and we have cleaned out our inventory a little bit, let's go take one more look at Syngas. Um, and that should be fully up and running. And if it's not, we are going to be very, very, very sad. All right, so you should be going just chugging along, chugging along. You guys aren't going all the time, but a lot of the time. Are you having any problems? No, you have one product and you're dealing with it. Alright, Syngas is backing up. Let's take a look at the chart. Syngas. Show me. Alright, so we used to cruise along at like 28, 29, and now we are at it's like a solid 36, 38, so that is good. That will put the borax problem in the ground, which will keep the factory flowing, as evidenced by the um, uh, full, like the the steady belt of copper that's coming out. Copper is also a problem I'm going to have to deal with. But this is nice right here. And are we borax limited? No. Borax problem has solved itself. Alright, close tab. Go to previous tab. Previous tab before that was um, anhydride, right? And that was tight. You're all stopped. Why are you all stopped? Why is there no pure sand coming up? Why is this still a problem? Why is there no pure sand coming over? Do I have to? no? Screw it, screw it. We're no, just screw it. No, no, we're not dealing with this anymore. Um, you go neutral. You've turned neutral. We have dealt with this enough, and now we are no longer dealing with it. Right here, is this right? Am I just throwing this out in a nonsense position? Maybe I should put it up here and preserve this space. That sounds like a less uh, crazy, less insane way to do it. Yeah, right here. It's going to look bad, but I'm going to find a hard time carrying. No, it's going to look too bad. Um, yeah, we put it right here and we just do it. All right, don't think too hard. Thinking's, thinking's bad. All right, dinosaur, get out here. You got a job to do. Uh, get store food. Then I want you to go and get pure sand from the central pure sand depot, which is right here, right? I want you to fill your cargo. And I want you to come here, and I want you to empty that cargo. Then you just do this forever. 
you are a critical part of the factory. And I mean that. Then we will do this. Do this. We're not even going to assign priority to this. It's however they want to handle it. And that will get a full belt of pure sand into this area. And then that will not be the bottleneck. Oh, I'm going to have to uh, goose the chemical science dinosaur. He's waiting for like 400 units, but that's not going to happen for a while. Though maybe it already has happened. Let's go look. This will bring us back to the beginning point. Science is going, but it's going to need another shot of... Uh, Chem science to keep going. Um, so what do I do now? Everything is sort of holding together. I should probably start working on the artillery factory. Like, it's not really time yet. I mean, there's plenty of other things I could be working on. But I don't think I saw any other screaming disasters. How are we doing here, guys? Not good. Not good. And how we doing over here? Not good either. How much do you got? Well, I need you to just go make that delivery. That's not enough to even research tank. Um. So I need to move the explosives factory down here. I have to prepare to start making explosive cannon shells. I have to make a gunpowder factory over here. Um. So I need to make gunpowder and explosives. And that's going to be just fine, right? I think. I think maybe. Um, I think maybe, perhaps. Heck is still going. This needs to be moved. Um, we need to do something about the allele chemical backup, but that's kind of temporary. It's again contingent on phosphoric, and phosphoric is backed up because of... Uh, here again we have these problems. We have to deal with main power again. I have substantial concerns about the power balance of the factory. See, if I go onto this... We're not producing enough mushrooms for some reason. That's that doesn't seem right to me. I feel like we should be producing constant mushrooms. That if anything we should be under mushroom pressure, but we don't we're not making the manure because we neglected to do anything with next gen augs. So we're weak in that area. So are we just preserving that weakness forward even though I installed all of the Mach 2 mushrooms? So this is... Oh, did he make a delivery? No. Wait, maybe he made a delivery at one point, and this is 400 right here. I could believe that. Now he's on his way to deliver another 200. In which case, we're in pretty good shape here. Um... Syngas, good pressure on that. So we solved that problem. Let's go look at our mushrooms. I know we don't have enough manure, but... Pull up on mushrooms. Where's the, the, the mushroom dinosaur? Mushrooms are just raining down. Like, these guys are even doing the, the good recipe. Wait a second. Why are only half of you on good mushrooms? Like a third of you. Two thirds of you. Huh. Many questions. Do we need another mushroom dinosaur? So. Okay. D. I. I. Zol. Diesel. Diesel. Are. We being way over dramatic and ignoring this. 
Naphtha comes from high distillates, which we are just burning right now. Two hundred high distillates, one hundred and fifty naphtha, and that produces like five hundred diesel, something along those lines. And that's a, a, a line that does not take titanium. I didn't I didn't I say something about relieving titanium pressure? Was this really just it? I think maybe this is what we do now. This is just our life. Yeah. All right, so that's probably the next screaming emergency, right? No, I came here to look at mushroom dinosaur. See if we had a delivery. Then maybe set up a diesel factory somewhere. Kind of worried about that. Yeah, where's where's the, the the mushrooms? Where are my mushrooms at? Do they get stuck? Like, where's the mushroom store? All right, all right. Let's let's just let's just assume the worst, right? Uh, I want you to store food. Probably not getting stuck, right? Looks like we had a... So, we're probably saying we're just using them faster than the dinosaurs can carry them. So we actually just need another dinosaur right here. I... I totally believe in that. Alright, so just... Just hope that problem is solved, because we're going to need a lot of aromatics going forward. And I mean an amazing amount of aromatics. Alright. That's probably a... I think I'm probably going to do the... I don't like seeing that. Probably shouldn't have, should have left more space around um, the vital feeding point. But, 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 whatever. Let us go over here and let us take a look at... Not pentasulfide, please. Are we all going? Are we all going. We're all going here. All of us are going. We're no longer... Uh, phosphoric is... We got a bit there. That's fine. Why aren't you going more? Why have you stopped? Do we ha not have enough phosphor us, bastard? No. It doesn't need as much as it looks. Actually, why has the input never gotten up to, uh, maybe we do need another one of those. Alright, let's look at the balance. This produces 10 phosphorus a second, and I got two of them, so I got 20 phosphorus a second. This eats 8. So, no, I can't run all three 24-7. I need one more. Uh, so it's... It's running them all with a little overflow. All right, we're going to pretend that's okay. Boric acid. You, my friend. All right, so this was us normally. 300. And then we had this brief happy time when it was at 1,000. But that's not really realistic. So it's like 900 each. So now we're finally producing... Let's wander back down towards science, and let's take a look at it, and let's see if it is actually producing anhydride, and if the anhydride is being completely consumed by the perline, pe the, 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 the perline um, compound. Um, Everyone knows what I'm talking about. It consumes anhydride to make the little canister, which is also used in uh, science. It's used in self-assembly monolayer, and then that is in turn used in science. Why am I here? Why didn't I go to the correct location? Why did I get stuck on repair duty? 
So up here, over here, over here, and this is the correct lane. So are you going? Oh, it is going. You are... Oh, we're backed up. We're backed up on Anhydride. Okay, that is the best possible outcome to this. Now we're backed up on Pearly? We're, we don't have enough Pearly? Hard time believing that. All right, science is being made. Okay, 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 breathe, breathe, breathe. Science, tank is coming, tank is coming. Tank is not a permanent solution. Tank may make us feel better in the short term, though. Um, what's going on with Perlene? You have all your stuff. You are missing tar. I have a tough time believing that one, right? I'm probably going to have to do some just direct tar production, right? Where is even the tar line? Right here. Yeah, I have a hard time believing in this. Because the tar consumers are pitch. And the tar consumers are the aromatic recipe, right? The aromatic recipe is probably pretty, is actually pretty good. So you might, might, might need to put in a primary product producer for tar. Let's go take a look at that. I am going to have to take a pause here. You guys will stay here. I will go elsewhere. So up here, right here. There's this guy making aromatics and flu gas. Shouldn't that flu gas become him, uh, sin gas? But you're just drinking down that tar in order to make. Probably shouldn't be doing any of this. This isn't producing enough aromatics. And none of the other things I care about. So, you. Wait, tar is. What is going on here? We have plenty of tar. This is a vent. This is our tar vent right there. So... And then we have another tar vent behind it. So we... have a priority problem with tar. Okay. I accept that. So what's going on here? This tar line, completely full, goes this way. But, this is not the tar line from which Perlene descends. So, let us go and try to find out where this treasure may lay. This means we have to go all the way back, we have to go look at the Perlene Maker, and we have to start tracing this tar line. This is thermant, ceramic, cement. Uh, no, you are electric motor. Yes, you are purling. You got clipped. No, there's no other. You just, I, I, I ruined the world somehow. Which, you know, I get told quite often. Yeah, no, 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 no. No, that's not how it works. Uh-uh, no. We are not at two tar. We're overflowing into aromatics. I saw it. I saw it with my meat eyes. So where did I mess this up? When did I mess this up is another question. Who messed it up is unfortunately beyond ambiguity. Um, so trace this line. Right when I did this? Yeah. This is when I messed it up. Look, look at how it is messed. Do you know who did that? I did that. Okay, so when I put in the sulfuric area, I just ruined myself. And uh, we are just going to pretend we didn't see it, right? Bam. More tar flooding in. Okay, all right. Have enough brain left, you don't 
have to have only bad thoughts to have happy thoughts. Over here, purling, being made. Okay, good. Good, 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 good. And now we run this way, a different way from the way we were running before. And we go down to an. Now we see this is now eating anhydrite because it's getting its purling and it's making the, the canister. And the canister is what was holding back self assembly monolayer, but it wasn't a problem. So, yes, we successfully got ahead of this one. But most importantly, science is being made in actually substantial quantities. Okay, we are well ahead of the game on science. Breathe, 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 breathe. One last thing phosphoric. We are hovering there, and apparently that's enough, right? <laughs> I don't know if it, it isn't, it is not complaining. All right, so everything is going good, everything is going good. I am just going to close my eyes and pretend I have no problems, and I'm going to make forward progress. We are going to move explosives down here. Um, we are going to establish proper priority for glycerol so that explosives get made. We're going to try to concentrate all our explosives in this one place. And then we are going to prepare uh, for tank. And then we are probably going to make a radar station down here too. Because um, we have to make a bunch of those. And that's all in preparation of just throwing a switch and turning on artillery shell production. Deal? Good deal. Next thing I have to do is save the game, because I have to close out, and then I have to hit pause right here, like so, and now unpause. And nobody noticed anything, right? Of course you didn't. All right, so we're going to, again, close our eyes, Close our eyes and ram forward. I know we have problems with main base liquid power, but I don't care about that right now, right? Good, good, it's good not to care. You're good, you're important. All right, so we're gonna move um, explosives down south. And then we're going to build a explosive depot, which will start completely full, gather together all the explosives from everywhere. Um, and then build a radar building station, I think. Yeah, that sounds like a good idea. And then we'll have all the major ingredients of uh, artillery factory. Which is just going to fill me with just glee when I'm finally able to lob. Uh, giant explosive hunks of death to all of the neighbors will no longer have to deal with their <laughs> we'll call it nonsense and keep it polite all right we got deposits so here is where we're going to deposit explosives to begin with no well explosive is it worthwhile yeah sure we'll make a explosive depot um, what I need is not this. Well, well, I need an extra iron plate in order to make all the pieces. This is still a false path, right? This doesn't lead me anywhere I want to go. No, I could finish it. Yeah, I'll do that. That will be a gift to myself. That, this does not spark joy. Um... Yeah, so we'll pick that path. We'll use that to anchor ourselves. That will be a grand division. Get some more iron. Get some more of these things. Even though it's already too late and it's already taking up an inventory spot. Blah, 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 blah. All right, does not spark joy, right? Yeah, that's correct. And we will scrub this next. They are still ripping apart pieces of our base. Soon, my friends, soon you will understand what the factory has been trying to tell you all this time. 
you've just been unable to grasp with your tiny, disgusting bug cortexes. Probably don't even have a cortex. It's probably all just spinal cord, you know, hindbrain. Well, there's a message coming if you listen real hard. I think, perhaps, we are producing chemical spy at an appropriate rate. Hank is certainly coming in fast enough. I think we're doing just fine. All right, so with that taken care of, how are we gonna do this? Probably wanna use storage first. Ooh, ooh, power is off. Ooh, this might be a problem. Like I have a uh, UPS battery on my machine right here. Huh. Huh. All right, everyone just hold still. Everyone hold still. All right, I have investigated. The UPS says it has about 20 minutes of life on it. We're going to give it five. And if the power doesn't kick back on in five minutes, I'm going to call this episode... Uh, I'm going to call this episode disappointing. <laughs> the episode that is cut short prematurely. Um... Still play a little more Factorio. Man, today is just cursed. Oh, power's back on. Perhaps I spoke a little too soon. Perhaps this is the greatest day. Perhaps everything is okay, and everything will always be okay. Do I come off as a little manic depressive sometimes? Probably. Alright, so, our friends. Our friends, explosive factory. And then... Who is fine for right now? We'll leave space for more. More importantly, I want to use our backlog. Right? We have to... Well, no. Hmm. Because we have to process the glycerol. Hmm. We have to vent glycerol in order to make acid anhydride. So maybe we just do this? Maybe? Hmm. Maybe we have to use these with preference. So, okay, we restructure this. Maybe we do something different. Maybe we do something better. Maybe the power will stay on. Maybe something will go right for one. What this will do is we'll be a little fancy here. We will have this going this way, into this going this way, into this, and we will use input priority from the right. Is this good? Is this a fine idea? Maybe. All right, so then this will be consumed, all the materials first. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, just so we can get them in sync. That looks nice. Looks nice. All right. Bam, bam. Goodbye. And stuff. I mean, we need one. All right. We are on uh, Explosives Quest 2024. We are on the wrong parallel to complete Explosives Quest. Hmm. Hank probably won't finish this episode, unless it goes very long, and I don't think it's going to. Have all these? You are one hat. Doesn't that just fill your, your heart with joy? This most certainly sparks joy. Alright, in the box. And we have another one, right? We have an entire other depot of explosives. When I was stockpiling it, like, 200 hours ago? 300 hours ago? I, I don't know what it was, but the, the space between Pi 2 and chemical science... <laughs> excuse me. Uh, it seemed really short to me. Like, it seemed like I made really rapid progress through Pi Psi 2. But then I went and I looked at the, the time, and I had gotten Pi Psi 2, I think at like episode 118, and I put got 
Hem Science on 169, so that's 50 episodes. That's 100 hours of gameplay, probably actually more, since I tend to go over more often than not nowadays. And like that is the exact opposite of what I am I'm feeling. I am feeling one way, but uh, reality is informing me it is another way. Okay, they all fit. Okay, good. We have concentrated all of our explosives in one place. This will turn into a lot of artillery shells, but not, not enough. In a lot of ways, it will never be enough. All right, so how to get sulfuric over? Any, well, and glycerol. Like, there's no, there's no getting around just having to drag it straight um, down, right? Have to find a way through, perhaps. I don't know. So glycerol, yes. Sulfuric. Where are you? No, really, we had to have sulfuric. Was it over here? Is it further up? I bet you you're further up. Yeah, this is where you came from. All right. So you have to come like this. And we will figure something out. How about... How about we just don't? <laughs> how about we don't figure anything out? We leave life a mystery. Just... That's steam. That's the Leo chemicals. This is open. Okay. And I moved it. Oh, very sad. even sadder so we can get to where we need to go right there right there and I kind of don't want to come over on this line even though I'm coming directly over on this line the very first thing because those are taken this is verboten um, and getting through otherwise is gonna be a struggle right Maybe I can get through right here. These should just be caravans at this level, right? That'll leave a lot of uh, internal space. Like right here. There's plenty of vias here. Yeah, it's no bad at all. Except when we get to here. Now it's suddenly it's so bad. It's so bad. No, it's fine. And we get close, and we'll just get it. Is it the right place? Oh, I bet. Yeah, it better be the right place. I put it here already, right? And you will continue going on via. And sulfuric acid has built up a lot of pressure. Why? I don't know. Probably had to do with something falling apart a few minutes ago. Um, seems to make a little sense, right? And then we have to go find glycerol. Well, find is the wrong word here. We know exactly where it is. We have to drag glycerol over. And down and around. Well, we should try to stay on the same line, right? Because we know this worked. So let's try to stick along. Right there. Right there. And I don't know if this is good, but I do know it worked before, so it's pretty much a definition of good, right? The Leo chemicals go over. I feel like I we shouldn't have done this right here. Like I could have located this all a little better if I thought things through a bit more. What? Why do you have no glycerol? Oh, because via Kua's, we are full up on Leo chemicals. And so, what needs to happen here is why aren't you underflowing? Ah, because I had removed that in order to increase pressure on this. Now we're out of lard. That's going to be an ongoing issue. Anyway, anyway, everything is okay, right? 
in theory everything is okay. There are aspects of this which are okay. I can tolerate this in limited quantity. I have to be very careful not to cross power streams here. Is there anything going on here? Anything I should be aware of? Nope. Meanwhile, on public power land, everything is fine. Everything is fine. Everything is fine. All is well. All is well. Okay, and turn on. You are now pumping out explosives and pretty much no one cares because there's no consumer of it yet. Good. Um, I feel a just overwhelming urge to run and go look at science. I'm going to go do that right now. I don't know. I know it is on the clear other side of the base, but I feel just... Mm, oh, not a good sign. I have to do something about that, but on the other side of radar, I guess. Build a radar factory, then deal with the fact that the, the rest of the factory is dying on me. Straight dying. Ah, we'll find a way through it though, right? Almost certainly being diesel and tin chromium. But it'd all be a worthwhile if we can just get to artillery. If we can just get to artillery. Look at this. Look at this. We're doing real good. We're running eight of these. Yeah. Eight consistent little flashes of nine every once in a while. And what's our bottleneck here? Oh, we're bottlenecked on bricks again? Wonder why. Kind of bottlenecked on small parts again? We shouldn't be bottlenecked on anything. Need gears. Bottlenecked on gears? Well, that could be... You can be helped. I need assistance in venting. How is I have fast uh, inserters here, but slow inserters here, and I still expect it to work somehow? Is this the sign of a rational person? Somehow I don't think so. God, I love Factorio. It's just so satisfying. I really, really love Factorio. Look at this. I just feel like you can sit and watch it all day long. I mean, I have. I have. I checked my Steam stats. Uh, I have almost 2,000 hours in Factorio. Can you believe it? I bet you can. Uh, that's a substantial portion of my life. Is that like almost a year of my life sitting at Factorio? I mean, I believe. I don't regret it. So what's our problem now? We can't vent. Okay, we fixed that a little better. We still are low on bricks, which I don't understand. So are we... So we're not at peak science right now. So we must have had a gravel um, delivery, and we must be making landfill again. And because we are making landfill, um, we are not making uh, excess brick. And because we're not making excess brick, where am I even going? I'm trying to find stone wool area, but I've made so many problems for myself. Now, now I'm way... I missed it. It's my own factory, and I don't know where I'm going. Over here, over here, kind of over here, right? Copper's backing up, and that's a good thing. Right here, yes. So just stone in general. Oh. We are making a few extra bricks, but not like super amounts. And nothing's making it up into landfill. So I should probably curtail this a bit. 
is we want to be making landfill as well. There's purpose to that. So this seems like a fine split. And just in time, this will build up. Because that's a lot, but I'm going to need a lot too. Mm, mm, I don't know. Everything's moving. Stop looking at it. Um, radar. Radar, what do we got? Uh, circuit board, K. Small parts, K. Iron plate. I'm just going to ship it all in. It's just it's in quantity 20. That's not so great, right? Uh, there's too much bulk there. Um, yeah, that's my plan. Just bring it all in. I'll use three caravans. Just do it super simple. Just utter barbarian style. Maybe not. Maybe that will grab too much out of the buffer. All right. So we what what we want is to make radar. For that, we need an automated factory. You are going to be making radar right there. And it takes you half a second. So we're going to be making you just, just, just you. Just you. So go over there. Um, radar. Do you have any purpose? No. Okay, so what to do here? So I either bring in iron and copper and circuit boards or small parts and iron and circuit boards. All right, it's so just one triple shopper. It's fine. Be okay. You go right here. I think that you probably shouldn't. You should probably go right here. And then there's going to be... Uh, actually, what we need to do, like this, yeah, that's the way. And so you're going to be doing this, you're going to be doing this, no, no, that was correct the first time, and this way, and then this way, and over, and then over. Actually, that all needs to be up one. So very, very sad. Okay, so we have radars in. And apparently we need fast inserters for everything. Because, though... Hmm. Hmm. No, we do this a different way. The near belt shall be like this. And then the far belt shall be like this. Because the far belt will have less things on it. Um, this is too much. I mean, it's still... I mean, it takes half a second to make one. There's no way we're going to keep this loaded. So there's there is no winning this game. The only winning move is not to play. Um, we can do this better. Have a little pride. Like you. Okay. Try not to think of your base dying in the meantime. Try to just make a little progress. Try not to think of the energy void. Okay. Um, unfortunately, this is going to leave us in a bit of an awkward position, right? That'll be fine. This is very awkward indeed. I don't really like this. There. That looks almost respectable. Almost. And then two out. Even that's ambitious. All right, so um, radar in quantity five five ten and small parts stack to two hundred. Mr. Dinosaur, 
we have a job for you. Uh, you need iron. So that's right there. So go up here and store food. And then you go up to iron, just our normal iron out, which is right there. And it takes five. We're going to start until caravan has iron plate in quantity 2,000, right? That's enough for 200 radars right there. Um, so the number is 200. So then you go to small parts, which is actually on the main bus. Right, right there. Uh, until caravan. Wish I would do that. Small parts. Small parts, and then it takes five times two hundred. Um, is a thousand. So you want a thousand small parts. That only takes five. This will take uh twenty inventory spots. This will take five, and I'll need a thousand circuit boards, and that will make put me over. So this is wrong. So I will have to fix this. Caravan. Let's go see what I can do. Right there, right? Yes. Is it? Is that circuit boards or circuit boards substrate? It's got to be circuit boards. All right. Then you need uh, to caravan. Simple circuit in quantity 1,000. And this is too much. So pull it back by a fourth. Eight. Eight. This is four. It's nine. Yeah, this fits. And you come here and then you dump. Uh, circuit condition until target. Until target. Until target. Here we go. Comparator equals go. Um, iron plate. Uh, 1400. Small parts. In quantity 700, right? Then circuits. In quantity 700. Then you do this forever, right? Okay. Off you go, Mr. Dinosaur. Now we need hands, of course. You are circuits. Right there. And you are small parts. Great work. And you are iron plate. Perfect, I say. All right. Oh, I didn't get a triple. I only got a double. It is easily fixed. Should be easily fixed, though. All right, two. Uh, not fish. Small parts. Not calc. Iron plate. Not... Uh, food, you want simple circuits. All right, fully hooked up. Now we just have to wire it in, and then we wait. And over here. Be very careful indeed. Just so I'm not tempted. Alright, so this will either work or it won't. Um, yeah, and so now we have explosives. Now let's talk about artillery shell. This is what we're going for right here. Uh, we need explosive cannon shells. Can't make them. Need tank. And that takes a... Uh, explosive can shell, a can shell plus explosives. So we have to make can shells. We can make gunpowder right now. 
just coke sulfur and saline water and I should probably do that but I am going to leave off because I need to deal with liquid power uh, it has to be addressed I have to do something um, oh good we got lots of lard and we're using this again too so what I need to do is go kick the titanium purple we have to alleviate some pressure on titanium purple um, I think we're gonna be going back to a split okay we're full up on aromatics that says it's time to start on diesel um, titanium purple is made right over here right there's organic solvent we are completely full up and titanium purple here is just getting worse every single time um, all right so pressure must be taken off gasoline so let's go inspect the state of the system uh, and this will probably be the last thing we do for today right it seems very likely to me so here we have the stack right and we are missing strip dispolates strip dispolates need titanium purple tetrachloride and what we what are we venting up here oh, we're not venting condensate not venting anything is nothing running why aren't you processing because medium dip bullets so all right um this changes the world two things we can do kerosene see hero kerosene i mean this is from heavy oil and this is this is terrible just no just flat out no so d d e i s d l d e s diesel 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 is diesel uh tin chromium which we have right here aromatics which are around naphtha which we just saw and that just makes a lot of diesel and i mean a lot of diesel and it takes light oil refinery am i missing it takes naphtha and naphtha comes out of high distillate we'll have to do something about this let's just start with two factories start with one factory because I have one factory in my inventory right now we kind of don't have the space for this do we especially if I have to drag in naphtha all right let's take a look at you you take you make 150 naphtha every five seconds and my buddy here my buddy right here I say which is gonna make diesel uh, you eat basically that so we're only gonna be running one eat really you can't handle this huh so maybe we should put this in line right here I don't know where I should put this. I'm a little scared. Um, sure. We say this starts here. We need tin chromium, which is not hard. That can just be shipped in from right here. Drag it over. Now, I guess we have to move this down now, huh? You have your tin chromium, sir. And then we need to bring over naphtha. This naphtha... Oh, we have this set up already. What? What? Question marks? Interrobang exclamation point? When did I do this? Ooh, don't do that. When did I do this? 
When did I set this thing up? Is this elves? Is this magic elves? No, you take that. You take that. Oh, seriously, we did this. We just need air on... What is something? We have aromatics right here, and then did we? Here, go brainless for a second. We just didn't do anything with it. We just, we just did nothing with it. Here, go empty your cargo. Ah, that's intriguing. We even got aromatics real close. Not like here or anything, but close. Oh, we don't even have a line. Okay, this is our line, I suppose. Huh. How many episodes ago was this? I... find this... Oh no, this isn't a line. This is just baffling to me. So that's taken, that's taken, that's taken... Are you taken? Can I go further in? I bet you I can go further in. Uh, especially since I have to come down right here. So let's sneak up right here. This will work, right? This is a good idea, right? He says with the utmost confidence. This isn't too complicated, right? We have basic organizational and memory skills, right? Oh. Uh, and then... I guess we gotta do this, huh? Alright. Okay, we do this instead. This instead. I'm gonna just have the reach. Nice. And this gets through. Excuse me. Still doesn't hit anything interesting. Alright, so you're suddenly making diesel. And I wonder, I wonder, I wonder exactly how much pressure this is going to put on this. Because, like, two of these, I could increase this. I could. Now I gotta get the diesel out. Ah, uh, not here. No, don't use cliff explosives as much as it may be warranted. How about right... Can we do right there? Yeah, let's do right there. Okay. Let's get the diesel out. And... I wonder if I'll be able to sustain production... But we need to take a little pressure off of gasoline, for sure. And so, we need to find a line. Uh, and how are we doing here? And we have to make sure it's always flowing. So everyone here is gasoline, right? Just everybody? Let's just say everyone is diesel now. Let's see if we can run this half of the factory off just diesel. So, cut that. Then, just let it burn out. Alright, so now we have to bring a path over. Let's make things interesting for ourselves by making this the path over. This looks like it has a lot of play. Um... It's so over here somewhere. That's our diesel. Where is it? Right there. And I have to vent everything. Because there will be a time when gasoline is full, but uh, diesel is not full. And vice versa, right? Yeah, right here. Are you clean? Can't really flush. Oh, I can. This is kind of uh, breaking it, huh? Maybe the mod doesn't work as good as it thinks, as well as it thinks. Excuse me. 
All right, so now you have diesel in. Consumption six per second. This is diesel and this is all diesel. And we should be able to see, right? Fluids. Diesel. Um, we are producing at 15 and we're consuming at um, less than that. I mean, a lot less than that. So this is directly becoming titanium because it's taking pressure off of titanium. All right, so I guess the next thing to do would be put some of the smelters on it. Maybe not all of them. Yeah, and it doesn't even have to be all of them because I set it up like this. So let's do it. We will sneak along on the glass line. Oh, no, 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 no. There you go. Just keep going, right? Right over here, we start having uh, opportunities. So we're going to start right here with this one, I think. Yeah. This will catch about half if it uh, becomes a diesel-only line. So let's try that, and then we'll check consumption. Flush. Welcome to the new age, everyone. So you're running off diesel, which is six a second. And this is running on gasoline, which is eight a second. And you're not running at all, which is... Oh. This was perhaps the single worst one to do. We're going to do the next one over, too. <laughs> Alright. Okay. Okay. Not not a problem. Not a problem. We can fix it. We can fix it. Right here. So clip you. Then... Why aren't you falling? Oh, it doesn't come in here at all. It does down there, though, and it's not being made. Well, well, okay, maybe you stay on gasoline for now. Ah, that was so hard. All right, so you're actually working, right? Yeah, that's what working looks like. So right there. No, no. I'd say, yes, yes. Okay. Now the diesel floods in. I guess this is just not going because it doesn't have the titanium. Mm. But I think I've taken a lot of pressure off gasoline. We'll look at the graphs and see if that's so. These guys are going. Now you're running off diesel. Should go check uh, hydrocarbon production. All right. So first, um, diesel. Diesel production's falling off. Oh. Hmm. Okay. We may have pushed it a little too far. We have to go check that again. Now we need gasoline. Gasoline consumption should have fallen off usually would peak at like seven. Now we're at like seven. All right, so there's questions. There's questions whether I did a thing, whether or not is a good or a bad thing. Why aren't you going? Can't vent Napa. That's good. Why aren't you going? You are going. Now it's just 
absolutely critical I keep those aromatics coming. And um, looks like that might be an issue. You drink down 125 aromatics a second. And I'm going to bet you, straight up bet you, I am making nowhere near that. Like nowhere even close. Here, centrifuge. Let's start just making them, right? Duralumin and simple circuits. I'm on it. Like we are not making enough of these things. Um, we can try to fix it maybe. Add a couple more. Where's my dinosaur mug? Oh, he's not even here. Uh oh. It's another bad sign. Uh, now we need simple circuits. So this is raising specters the last time I messed with liquid power. Uh, centrifuge. Spinny things. Give me two. And we... Our primary source of aromatics is over here, and it's processing mushrooms. Oh, good. We actually have a dinosaur we're trying to dump, which is... That was one of the ingredients that was missing before. So, what we need to do is add two more of these, right? Possibly more. Because you are making 20 a second. This will make uh, 80 a second. And so we need two more to really do this properly. Which is definitely in the cards. Uh, provided we have sufficient um, mushroom production. Which, now that I think about it, is a little iffy, isn't it? So we'll see if we can support this. And it's definitely going to be a power draw, which is unfortunate. Here, take these mushrooms, take these Relusia. This is for you too, mushrooms. Shrooms for everybody. Everybody just take these shrooms, don't ask questions. We do it this way. Don't we think that this would be a little better for everybody if I do it this way? I agree. Just a little better for everybody. Alright, so we are definitely shy of aromatics. Let's go take a look. Aromatics. Um. Yep. Yep, that consumption's up there. So, the last 10 minutes, making it at like 6,500, and we're drinking it at double that. Ooh. It's one of them bad looks right there. But, I could put in another bank of these, but I'm worried about going out of mushrooms. Uh, I suppose it's, oh, there's another one trying to dump mushrooms. Hmm. I'm just going to leave this for a second, I think. Then we're going to try to look at gasoline pressure, see if anything's changed. I think it's time to wrap up, right? Yeah, it's over two hours. Thin gas, fully pressurized. That's good. Gasoline, a problem, a titanium-based problem, but it's starting to get pressurized, so that's good. Diesel is probably straight out at this point, so I mean maybe rebalance it a little more. Yeah, we have some diesel. Diesel isn't out. It's less than it used to be, but it's not out. So, not doing terrible there. Now we just have to make sure that... Um, 
Uh, everyone vents, so no one ever stops. Because diesel comes from high distillates, so medium distillates also have to vent. And we do that, right? I mean, we... So, condensates, low, condensates, condensed distillates, and condensates. Excuse me, these are two very different things. High distillates has two. So we're, we're blowing a lot of high distillates right now. Maybe I can use that to... Well, I'm also needing the steam, so... Low distillates... Condensates again, coal bed gas, medium distillate. So everyone should vent. Um, so good there. And then here we're stuttering a little bit because of aromatics. But only a little bit. Like just a little, little bit. Hmm aromatics and that's just a simple matter of scaling up because this is like it's just grown it's literally just scale it up uh my mushroom farm isn't using even using good mushrooms for everything and this is possible but i don't think it's good right yeah this is the good one this is where aromatics come from like, no, no. Hmm. So I need to get mass cheap religias and fogwa at some point. And we will check the balance one more time. Gasoline. Gasoline production is around... 9k consumption is much less all right so we've solved that problem we can rebalance this back later diesel on the other hand consumption is around 1.5 production is higher than that so we're about even on that so if i have to add any more liquid power i should do it with gasoline okay i accept that um, and I think we're good, right? We didn't get to tank. Very sad. All right, so I think we solved our major problems, except for Nexalit. Nexalit is still a major problem. Maybe that's what we handle next. Maybe we go make that gunpowder factory and then handle Nexalit. Yeah, I believe. Um, we still have this warehouse. Uh, okay, we have half a warehouse. But next split will become a problem soon. This is a problem for next episode. All right, let's take a tour. Go look around. Why are you only at halvesies? Power is out. Power is full, right? Yes. Why is power what is coal out? How is this a thing? Are we out of raw coal in? I'd believe that, but not quite yet. So how is this? Were we dependent on having this? Looks like the answer is yes. What's this? Why are you stopped up? Why is it stopped up? Why was it stopped up? I don't understand. I feel like something's happened. Ah, it's right here. Because it was sucked over. We shouldn't be needing so much coke anymore. Because lime was the great eater of coke. And it should not be drawing anymore. Alright, so this is a bit of a worry. What's going on here? Let's go take a look. Like, that coke should not be dumped on the, um, the belts anymore. Because we have shell processing going. And so this is, yep, we're venting. We're venting good. Oh, we should check to see the uh, the bin of shells and see if it's actually uh, decreasing. Certainly looks like we're making progress here. It's overflowing. The lime is being blaked out. 
That's good. You're no longer eating coke at all. This is eating tons and tons of coke, but we have dedicated... Not... Hmm. Maybe, maybe, maybe. That's a new place to attack. That was an expansion attempt. I don't know what to think about this. Though I would have thought coke consumption would be down. Um, just overall. It's... Okay, it's a little weird. How about that? Now we're at... I don't know. It rises and falls. I do not know how to read these graphs. I would have thought this would have helped a lot by cutting out all of this consumption, but apparently not. Ah, well. Um, processing shells. That's good. Let's go look at tech. You know, go look at the business of science. And then next episode, goals are increase Nexalit production somehow, probably by getting more food in. Let's go down there and look at it. Um, and then um, Hank will tick, so I'm going to have to set up an explosive cannon shell factory. Um, that's not a problem. How are we doing here? Uh... Brickbound, once more. I do not understand the world, how it, how this happens one way and then the other way, then one way, then the other way. <clears throat> Excuse me. However, we're still ticking along science at like five per. I mean, it would be it was eight when we had a full brick line going, so you know that tracks. But could be better, yeah. Could definitely be better. Um, next up on our tour, definitely science me along, so I can't complain too much. Um, we should go look at phosphoric because that was another thing we did today. Just cast our eyes on that, and then um, maybe wrap up. Maybe. It's going to take a while. Like, the titanium problem won't be solved immediately. Um, because how it's manifesting right now is a... It's slowly filling this buffer with gasoline. At that point, it'll stop consuming titanium tetrachloride, at which point it will um, start backing up into just titanium, and that's what we're looking for. However, that is some time away. And over here, we are not filled up on hydrofluoric yet. Glad to see it. Okay, that thing I said was ha would happen has come to pass. I was afraid of this wood line, and I was correct. So, sir, you are dismissed. Thar, you are dismissed. Um... Right here. So, right there, right there. And everyone knows what I'm doing, right? We are going to call wood in directly. Except, not like that. Give me more. And like this. Okay. Like so, yes. Like so, yes, yes. Now, dinosaur, on the field. You have a job. Oh, you had a job. I'm kind of worried about you, dinosaur. Kind of worried about you. That's the north one, right? Yeah. Yeah, it is, because it's bisulfuric. All right, so go get some wood from here in just our wood bin, right? I want you to fill your cargo, and I want you to come here, and I want you to empty your cargo. Go and do it. No, go and do that, at least. We're not going to wait for you, but... 
Yeah, I knew there wasn't enough wood coming on this line. I knew it. I knew we were at our we were at our utmost when it came to wood, and uh, something had to be done. Well, what's going to happen is this. This takes ten wood each. It's a lot of wood. Well, hopefully it keeps up. Anyway, let's look at something else now. Oh, when we went by science, we didn't look at the uh, chem science backup. We have to go back. How horrible, right? Here, while we're here, let's wander through uh, chemical processing again. And then look at that. Are you doing good? Yeah, you're making diesel, which is good. And the aromatics are coming in. Hmm. Should definitely keep an eye on the mushroom, because we're just chomping down on them right now. And the um, aromatics production is in the least, the, the position of least priority. So the thing that will stop first will be that. All right, so good. Making science. Science is happening. Uh, our radar station is happening. We are making lots of radar. That's good. Now we have to make the explosive cannon shells. We probably should have done this later, but I put it in now because I, I have the ability to make it now. I don't have the science for anything else. Ah, the technology has yet to arrive. It's a lot of incubated petri dishes. Nice to see that's working. Gathling not full up. Titanium still struggling. Um, creature bits being processed. Lard in great demand. I'm gonna need a lot of lard because soon I'm gonna be researching um, aerial caravans to see if those are worthwhile. That's gonna be the decision point whether or not I make trains or not. Like if aerial caravans suck or have some huge disadvantage, I'm I'm not. I'm gonna use trains. I'll start making a train base. But if aerial caravans are actually good, I'm skipping trains entirely. I'm going to do entirely uh, caravan base. That will be interesting, I think. On one hand, caravans are kind of a pain to configure. Um, on the other hand, they have much less footprint than trains and much less uh, uh, much less can go wrong. So we are just trickling in automation science right now. And that is because we probably didn't have any bricks, right? Yeah, I bet we were just in between a brick delivery. And there was another thing I was looking for, and that was how much do this do we have stored? So it's like we probably have about a thousand chem science, about a thousand, and we're making more. So like Everything is okay-ish, ish, right? Ish. All right. Um, so it's time to wrap. It's been a good day. Let's let's recap. Let's do a formal recap. So we want to see our factory. We frame our factory again, real nice. So hard to get the perfect zoom. All right, good enough. All right, so today, what did we do? First, we have we found that research, uh, chemical science was stopped. It stopped because not enough organic acid, organic acid, anhydride, anhydride. Yeah, that it wasn't there. That wasn't there because not enough phosphoric. Getting tripling phosphoric production was a struggle. Um, it requires uh, many inputs that weren't getting in correctly, and I think I resolved that. But anyway, organic acid and hydrate isn't a bottleneck right now, so obviously I did something right. We are producing science in great amounts. We got almost all the way through a tank today. So I think we're researching about a rate of 600 units uh, a play session, so that's pretty good. What else did we do? We Obviously, we found we set up a diesel plant a long time ago and just never used it. Well, we turned that on and split uh, some of the power 
draw from gasoline to this diesel. The key thing here is that the gasoline requires titanium, which is now a bottleneck, whereas diesel just requires a lot of aromatics, and that is not a bottleneck. And so that was good. Uh, we also turned on our shell processing factory. We can go look at the shell bin. We'll do that eventually. It's got to be going fine at this point. Um, what else did we do? Did we do anything else that's interesting? We built a radar station. We moved uh, the artillery shell production line, started to relocate it down here, and everything's going very well there. We have an entire uh, deposit full of explosives, which is, which is how you know something's going right in your life. Um, we haven't checked on plutonium in a long time. That probably does have, we never did put in the, the dedicated borax maker, which we, boric acid maker, which is probably required. We should probably see how quickly we're consuming, uh, nuclear samples. Cause I would hate to run low on that just for lack of boric acid, cause it's going to be kind of slow. I mean, I could double all of the absorbers really easily, but I'd rather it just, um, never fall behind to begin with so what else next oh we also messed with syngas uh, we found that we were low on syngas we found that we had a really weird method of handling ancient coke production so we finally slaved in the ancient coke production to the the actual true coke line so that's getting used with priority so it's making coal gas with priority which gets turned into syngas uh, also, we doubled the capacity to make syngas through the, the hot syngas method using bitumen. We unplugged bitumen and we uh, improved that in many ways. So, it's actually a very busy day now that I recite all that. Next episode, Cannon Factory. Next episode, improved Nexalit production. That's important. Next episode try to get more titanium somehow i think i solved that on the supply end maybe go to boric acid um i don't know don't build a tank tanks aren't good i don't drive well anyway and then just power towards artillery and once we hit artillery it's oh, it's gonna feel so good it's gonna be great it's gonna be fantastic but for right now i'm done uh, bye everybody, for real this time. Bye-bye, 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 bye-bye.